You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Rogers versus Campbell Rogers. Thank you, Jerome. You're welcome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Campbell, you're here desperate to learn if the man you're in love with is indeed your three-week-old daughter's biological father. Yes, Your Honor. Now, Mr. Rogers, you're a married man. Yes. And although you have reason to doubt, you say it would break your heart if you found out today that you're not Anna Gale's father. Yes, Your Honor. Now, to further complicate things, Ms. Campbell, you're in a relationship with both Mr. Rogers and his wife. Yes, Your Honor. Um, Jerome, just bring her in. You got it. Thank you. All right, so I've got to start with you, Mr. Rogers. Please tell the court about this unconventional relationship you're in uh, with your two wives, as you call them. Me and Angela have known each other for 24 years. Mm -hmm. We've been married for 20 years. And we met Gracie where we worked at, and they kind of hit it off together. She brought Gracie into the relationship just for herself. I knew she liked women, so I kind of just let her go ahead. Okay, and how did it progress? I let them, you know, have their relationship. I got brought into it about a year later. Gracie wanted to have children. She said she was getting to the age where she wanted to have kids. So Angela told her, she said, the only way you can have children is if Thomas is the father. I agreed, and that's how our relationship started out between all three of us. So let's just be clear. You all live together. Yes, Your Honor. We all live together. We all sleep in the same bed. We got three boys, me and Angela. Me and Gracie have a two-year-old son and maybe and, a three-week-old And the child daughter. in question. Yes. Now, they had had a commitment ceremony, these two. We did have a commitment ceremony, us two. He was there. He's the one that gave me away, so it's not like it was forced. And as far as the relationship between me and him goes and bringing her in, the relationship, he's a man and he wanted it just as much as me. All right, so let's get to the doubt surrounding baby Anigail. Why does the doubt exist? You Your are Honor. in a polyamorous relationship, so that means you expect that both of these women would only be sleeping with you. That was the whole situation. That's what you, you felt know, like was the deal was. The, I was supposed to be the dad of her two children. How did we get here? What happened? They decided they was going to go to Phoenix, where Gracie's Honor, mom lived. Can I say something, please? Yes. We had, me and Angela had went to Phoenix to pick up my mother. Okay. And I had told her about the swingers club that I used, that I used to go to, and we had wanted to go there, and she, and she agreed. Okay, Your Honor, may I interrupt? Okay, that is not completely 100% true. Okay, so somebody, Let me explain somebody how tell this, me the truth. Well, I'm gonna tell you the truth how this went down. She decided she wanted to show me some of the things that she used to do. One of them was a swingers club. I did not particularly want to go. Finally, because I love her, I relented and I went. When we get there, yeah. I thought it was just a regular club. People are dancing, they're drinking at a bar. It looked normal. I mean, other than it was a swingers club. So did you not say, so, well, no, we shouldn't have sex? Hold on. So <laughs> if you're standing before me, you weren't just dancing at this club. Well. And it wouldn't be called a swingers club if it was just a dance club. So no. what happened? Well, they had, I didn't know at the time. She got really drunk. She started talking to some guy, kissing on this guy. Well, I didn't know there was rooms in back. Between both of us drinking a lot, we ended up in the back in one of the rooms that they have set up. We ended up having relations with this guy that we don't even know. You both have sex with this guy? Yes, yes Your Honor. Without protection? Yes, yes Your, Your Honor. Honor. Mr. Rogers, you really didn't see this coming? No, I didn't. I, I, I didn't see any of this coming. I thought we had a good relationship. You know, me and Gracie, we, we have a, a son together, two-year-old son. You know, she wanted another child. And I thought that's what we was you know, what we were gonna have together. And for all this to happen, I, I don't know what's gonna happen now. So as you look at baby Anigail, do you feel like she's yours? Do I you... want her to be mine. I see her every day. I try to spend as much time with her as I can. 
when I get home from work, she wakes up, I get her. So even after you found this out, even after you knew all this, you still come home from work and that's what you want to do is spend time with your baby girl and your children. Yes. I went through my life without a dad. You know, he was there one day and then I didn't see him again for 10 years later. Hmm. I don't want none of my kids to go through that. You know, whether they're not, you know, it's not the kid's fault. And your honor, I have here evidence of conception. Conce the conception date. And I also have a calendar oh. of the conception date. Jerome, of let me of see the that. Events. So Mr. Rogers, while Jerome's getting that evidence from you, so while they're gone, in your mind, you thinking they're going to pick up her mother. Yes, your honor. That's and you were intimate with both women right before they left. Before and after. I want to understand, first of all, the evidence that Ms. Campbell presented. On this document, it outlines the approximate date of conception, and it's listed here as September 11th, 2013. And this is from your doctor. Yes, Your Honor. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. As we look at your calendar, your doctor's saying here that your date of conception is the 11th, and when we look at the 11th, there's no one, but right there the day before would be potential father number two. Yes, Your Honor. That's really close to the 11th. I know in my heart that I did mess up. I did. And I didn't mean for the, all this to happen. But I want him to know that, of course, he, you know, he might not be the father. But I hope that you are. When did you find out about this incident? Well, it was about seven months into pregnancy. Now, the whole time going through this, you know, I was there. I went to the doctor's visits. I went to the ultrasounds. May I say something about it, though? That was our fault. I feel really bad. There's no, you know, there's not, no amount of times we can apologize, but we did decide to keep it a secret. So that, you that was side of us as a couple. We decided to keep it a secret. But the thing about it is, it's her fault. I mean, it's my fault for not telling. Don't get me wrong. Because I should have told. Well, you were in front. this too. But she was the one texting her friend on Facebook and left her phone open, and that's how he found out the secret. Polyamorous relationships are one thing, then you got poly cheating. That's another thing. You guys exactly. got a lot going on here. You got. Him in a relationship with you all, you both cheat, but now you gonna blame her and say she's the one wrong because she left her phone out. I don't know how many times I can say I'm sorry to you. Well, how do you think I feel? I'm going through the same issue with my 18-year-old uh, from where she cheated on me all that long time ago, and I'm not sure well, if people he's make mistakes, people make mistakes, though. Okay, no, is there something you really wanted to say? You got some more evidence? Yes, ma'am, I do. Jerome, will you please get that from... Ms. Campbell. <clears throat> and what is this and evidence? It's the, it's the evidence of Anna Gill's eyes that look exactly like his, and I know they have the same facial features. So and you feel eyes. like he is her father? I feel like they have the, the, same, the same eyes. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. The truth is, is you all created this family. Yes, and yet, what you've done is tearing the entire family apart. My point of view is I hurt my best friend. He is my best friend. Let me ask you a question. If I hadn't seen that message, would I have known? No. No. And it frustrates me because no, I because know. because I was afraid if I told you, I would lose you. And I don't want to have to live without you. And I don't want to lose him either. Me and Angela's been through this with our other child. She found out she was pregnant and she told me within a month, yes, I had relations with somebody else while you wasn't around. All right. This is your teenage son. Yes, whose Your paternity Honor. is also in question. Yes, Your Honor. Jerome, please bring Austin in. But it wasn't like the situation with Gracie. I went to him, told him I was pregnant. I told him what I'd done immediately. Come on up, young man. Have a seat right next to me here in the witness stand. Austin, you're here because you want to get some answers today regarding your paternity. Am I correct? Yes, Your Honor. 
Mr. Rogers, who raised you, you know him as dad, may or may not be your biological father. Is that correct? Yes. And you want the answer to that mystery today? Yes, Your Honor. I'd like to treat this as two different cases. Is that okay? I think yes. that's the best way. Jerome, may I have the first results, please? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Rogers versus Campbell Rogers, pertaining to three-week-old Anagel Rogers. Mr. Rogers, you are her father. Really? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for being there for her regardless. You know, although many people may not understand the polyamorous relationship you've all decided you want to be a part of, what rings true is that you're a dad. Yes, you're sure. a dad, and these are your kids, and yes. you love them. Every one of them. I wish I could say court was adjourned and wish you all the best of luck, but this family has yet another paternity issue that needs to be resolved, and that relates to you, Austin. And I need to understand more about how did you come to realize that your paternity was in question at all? About three years ago, mm -hmm. I got diagnosed with Crohn's disease. Mm. So a little while after that, my parents came up to me bawling and told me pretty much that my mom had cheated on my dad. After the diagnosis? Yes, ma'am. I have uh, some paper evidence here that talks about Crohn's disease and it explains that it is pretty much hereditary. Jerome, can you please hand me Mr. Rogers' evidence? So... And no, no one Rogers. in my family or her family has this disease. So you two had to come clean with the secret you had been keeping from him. We did keep a secret, Your Honor. I told him as soon as I found out I was pregnant that I had cheated. So and... the bottom line is, is all of these years, you two had made this decision. We're going to keep this secret. We're going to raise this young man, give him a beautiful home, love him as our own, and this will be our secret, and he doesn't need to know this until this disease came into your life. Yes, ma'am. And so as you look at Austin, do you have any doubts that your husband is? I do have doubts. His child? Austin's taller than me and his dad both. He's the only one in our family with blonde hair. There's a lot of differences in Austin. Had he not been diagnosed with Crohn's disease, would you have ever told him? We discussed that and he didn't want to ever tell him. No. But I mean, that was my fault too because we agreed together not to tell him. Your Honor, okay, I got that it, you know, I cheated and he might not biologically be his, but that don't mean nothing. It takes real parents to raise a child and they step up does. and say, I want to be there. And that's what we did, regardless of what happened. So, Mr. Rogers, once you made that decision with your wife, you owned up to your responsibility. Yes, Your Honor. It's Mr. Rogers and Ms. Rogers, is there anything you'd like to say to Austin before the results are read? Yes, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to mess up. I love you, but I love Dad, too. I didn't want to split us up because he is your dad. It doesn't matter what these tests show. He's been there through everything. That's what makes a father. It doesn't matter what these tests show. Mr. Rogers, is there anything you'd like to add? I just want you to know that I love you. And I've always been there for you and I always will. Well said. Well said. Jerome, let me have the results, please. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Rogers versus Rogers, pertaining to 
18-year-old Austin Rogers. Mr. Rogers, you've waited 18 years for these results. And the wait is over. In the case of Rogers versus Rogers, pertaining to 18-year-old Austin Rogers. Mr. Rogers, you've waited 18 years for these results. And the wait is over. You are his father. <laughs> I think that deserves a family hug. I love you. I love you too. Well, that's beautiful. Rogers family, I wish you all every blessing. Austin, I want you to take care of yourself. Look, I'm not here to judge your polyamorous relationship, but what I will say is that if this is what you choose to do, do it responsibly, like any other relationship, and put the children first. I want this family to understand that you all have decided to be just that. And so you have to, you have to operate that way. Do we understand, yes, ladies? Yes, ma'am. So be responsible, be respectful, but most importantly, be a family. Thank Court you. Court is yeah. adjourned. Thank you, Your Honor. Hearing these results today made me ecstatic, knowing that the father I've had all my life is my biological father. Knowing both of my children are my biological children, it just, it, it makes me, you know, extremely happy.